when we talk of real infinities, we're talking about a quantity larger than any number. No matter what number you have in mind, infinity is larger. There is a nice way to write large numbers. You can write the number a thousand as 10 to the power 3, meaning a 1 followed by 3 zeros. Or a million is written as 10 to the power 6, meaning a 1 followed by 6 zeros. There's no largest number. If anybody gives you a candidate largest number, you can always add the number 1 to it. But there certainly are very big numbers. The American mathematician Edward Kasner once asked his young nephew to invent a name for an extremely large number, 10 to the power 100, which I can't write out all the zeros in this page for because there isn't room on the page. The boy called it a Google. If you think a Google is large, consider a Googleplex. It's 10 to the power of a Google. That is a one followed not by a hundred zeros, but by a Google zeros. Now, by comparison with these enormous numbers, the total number of atoms in that apple pie is only about uh, 10 to the 26th, tiny compared to a Google and, of course, much, much less than a Googleplex. The total number of elementary particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons, in the accessible universe is of the order of 10 to the 80th, so one followed by 80 zeros, still much, much less than a Google, and vastly less than a Googleplex. And yet, these numbers, the Google and the Googleplex, do not approach, they come nowhere near infinity. In fact, a Googleplex is precisely as far from infinity as is the number one. We started to write out a Googleplex, but it wasn't easy. It's a very big number. Writing out a Googleplex is a spectacularly futile exercise. A piece of paper large enough to contain all the zeros in a Googleplex couldn't be stuffed into the known universe. Fortunately, there's a much simpler and more concise way to write a Googleplex. like this. And infinity can be represented like this. <laughs>